Ahoy hoy! I'm fun. One second. Who stuck this visual metaphor here? I don't know. <clears throat> Ahoy hoy, I'm Planet Walk, and I got COVID. And yes, I did come out of the closet just to tell you that, which is honestly the worst thing that you can come out of the closet for. Like, if you come out of the closet as being gay, right? Some people will be homophobic, but most people will accept you. If you come out of the closet as having COVID, most people want you to get back into the closet because you're supposed to be self-isolating. Now, there is a comment that I know that I'm going to receive a lot of, and that is the comment of, why are you wearing a mask? You know, you've got COVID, yeah, I get that, but, like, it's hard to hear you, and this is a video. But, you see, the thing is, I know that a lot of people in my audience will be watching this video on 5G. You know, I tried to warn you about 5G. Oh wait, no I didn't. Ahoy hoy! Alright, so, I got COVID so that you don't have to. Which kind of makes it sound like I did something, you know, brave and valiant. I went out and intentionally got COVID. Okay, intentionally getting COVID, that, that just makes it sound like I'm an idiot now. And that makes it very difficult because now I have to think of a way to spin it so that intentionally getting COVID isn't stupid. Okay, imagine a world where getting COVID intentionally isn't stupid. The anti-vaxxers have taken over, it might as well not be stupid. Anyway, me getting COVID so that you don't have to makes it sound as though it was a brave, valiant thing that I did where I intentionally got COVID, so therefore you don't have to. You know what it's like through me. Whereas in reality, I just caught COVID, and now I'm telling you what it's like so that you don't go ahead and get it because apparently people voluntarily get it. There have been people that have treated COVID like it's the measles and held COVID parties and beliefs that, you know, they'll get infected and therefore they'll be immune to it, which is just not how COVID works. It just doesn't. Don't hold a COVID party. COVID sucks! So I don't know the exact day that I got it, but I probably caught it a day or two before I took a rat test. The first rat test that I've ever taken, by the way, and I tested negative. And taking a rat test absolutely sucks. And I was like, yes, I tested negative. Don't have to worry about COVID. <laughs> How wrong I was. Immediately the next day, it just hits me out of nowhere. I, I was wondering, what what is this flu like is the flu gotten 10 times worse it's probably covid but i took a rat test yesterday so let me just check with another rat test to my oh it's positive so the first symptoms that showed up were headache everything was just aching and a severe lack of motivation which to be honest it isn't too different from just normal function if i had have had an extreme amount of motivation then i would have known that something was definitely wrong with me unfortunately that's not what you get with covid my motivation levels were instead far lower than normal, which was hard to tell, but there was an easy way to figure that out. You see, there's these things called painkillers that tend to work fairly well when you want to murder some pain. For some reason, I just had zero motivation to get up to get water and find the painkillers. And so therefore, I was just stuck in bed, just not doing it, not even getting up to get water. I just had zero motivation to make myself feel, you know, just even a smidge better than I was feeling. After several hours, I did eventually get up and get the water and the painkillers that I needed. And later on, I had some mouse tests delivered to me. I then tested positive, and that's when I realized, wait... I have to tell everybody that I was recently in contact with, hey, I have COVID. Fortunately, out of all the people that got back to me, only one person got COVID. Although, I prefer zero people got COVID, but, I mean, life isn't perfect. Now, later that night, I had a bizarre experience, which is the sole reason why I never want to get COVID again. I thought that I was multiple people all trying to isolate from one another. 
in my bed. Now let me try and detail this very bizarre and completely irrational thought process that I was having, right? I'd get comfortable and all that, and I'd be like, okay, I've gotten comfortable. Now I have to move to another part of the bed because I'm trying to isolate from the person that's just gotten comfortable right there. So I have to move to another part of the bed. Now I'm this person and I have to isolate from all the other people in my bed. I don't know why my brain was thinking like that. I have no, I, I was trying to sleep. Eventually I came to my senses and I thought, was a flat earther just trying to hack my mind or something? Eventually I managed to get to a proper sleep that wasn't me trying to figure out how to isolate from myself. And I woke up from that just drenched in sweat. But shortly after that, I was absolutely freezing because my body decided that for some reason it was just not going to regulate body temperature because apparently I'm a lizard now. But the next day, fortunately, I started getting the classic flu and cold symptoms and the other symptoms started clearing away. You know, a stuffy nose and a cough. A really dry cough, by the way. I did not realise that recently I'd been to the Sahara Desert and given it a blowjob, but that's how it felt like when I was coughing. Fortunately though, the cough wasn't too bad and it was manageable. And that is mostly it, although symptoms have been persisting for a few days now. Oh, another thing is that my appetite just completely disappeared for a few days. I just did not feel hungry at all. I don't know why that happened. But yeah, those are most of the symptoms, or at least the symptoms that I experienced. And honestly, it is quite different experiencing them to seeing them laid out before you. Like just being given a list of symptoms, like you can go in here and look up the symptoms, but that doesn't tell you how it's going to feel to actually experience those symptoms. And I think that's why a lot of people who have never had COVID think that it's the same thing as getting a flu or a cold when it's clearly not. The way that I got hit by COVID was completely different to how I've ever been hit by a cold or a flu. With cold or flu, usually I have a few days of, oh yeah, it's coming, whereas COVID was just BAM. Obviously not everyone who gets it will get it the same way, but from another person that I know that has gotten it, their experience was pretty similar. And as I said earlier, it's really not something that I want to get again, but the unfortunate thing is, I might end up getting it again just due to the way that we've kind of decided to deal with COVID and that is by not dealing with it anymore. Yeah sure you still have to wear a mask and all that but we've kind of just decided as a society okay it's here to stay let's not really do much about it anymore. Despite the fact that for me COVID is worse than the flu and other people had it worse than me. And sure, I don't think we're ever getting rid of COVID. Delta seemed to be the last chance that we had to try and get rid of it. And that ship has long sailed, so COVID is here to stay. But there needs to be something better than, yeah, it's here to stay, so let's just let everyone get COVID. Because what just letting people get COVID looks like is in the US, 40 million people getting COVID during the flu season. That's what it looks like. That is what happened in the US for the 2021 to 2022 flu season. 40 million people got COVID during that time. From what I could find on the CDC website, one of the worst years for the flu was 2017 to 2018 when there was an estimated 45 million symptomatic cases. Mind you, it is symptomatic cases, but it's also just an estimate. It's not how many people actually got the flu, it's how many people they estimate got the flu. With the 40 million COVID cases during the last flu season, that is just positive tests. That's not the people that didn't get tested and might have been symptomatic because they don't believe in COVID or something. That's not a small amount of people by any stretch of the imagination. And let's not forget, the flu still exists. I know someone that has had both the flu and COVID this year, so... <coughs> <coughs> That randomly happens sometimes. <laughs> As I was saying, I know someone who had both COVID and the flu this year, so they're both still, well, 
I mean, COVID is definitely circulating around, but the flu is still circulating around. So if we're not going to do anything about COVID, then, well, I guess we're just going to have to deal with two illnesses going around every year. Now, of course, there are vaccines, but these vaccines kind of feel like they're being rendered more and more useless with every mutation that happens. I feel like it's way past time that we actually, you know, update the vaccine so that they're actually effective against the new strains of COVID that are coming out. Now to Pfizer's credit, I did hear something about them making an Omicron vaccine near the start of the year, but haven't heard anything about that since. Hopefully that's something that can come out soon and provide at least something, because yeah, there doesn't seem to be many options here. But anyway, let me know what you think. I got COVID so that you don't have to, so don't go getting COVID. It's not fun. I'll be back soon with more videos, and I've got quite a few video ideas, so I might just have a week where I post like five or six videos. I don't know how I'll do it. We'll see how it goes. But anyway, I will see you in the next video. Between you and me, again, don't get COVID. It's not fun.